So you are creating your empire as a personal brand and you may be asking, oh, Derek, what is the most important factor for me to succeed in this endeavor? And I cannot lie to you. I don't know what is the most important factor. Mindset is essential. Business knowledge is essential. Um, being able to be a learning machine and continue to adjust is essential. The networking part, the charisma part, being uh, able to entertain and educate on social media and to influence people with your leadership and to be able to have a commercial structure with your personal brand, uh, businesses, uh, for example, um, um, courses or services or products, stuff to monetize as a personal brand. That is essential. But... Which one is more important? I don't know. And it doesn't matter really. What matters is for you to do them all well. Like to master everything. To master personal branding holistically. That is what for me is important. But one of the dimensions that you need to definitely master is... The values of your brand and how you represent those values in a coherent manner publicly. This is essential. Because if your personal brand doesn't have values, for what your personal brand stands for? What is the message? What is the leverage? What is its strength? So whenever I see a personal brand that doesn't have a lot of values, I probably think that that person that is the brand doesn't have a lot of values or it doesn't know their values. And when you don't know their values, people that have values cannot identify with you. Because people will follow leaders that share values with them or they have or that the leaders have values that they want for themselves. And they think that the leader can help them develop those values to actualize those values in their consciousness and in their actions and to drive the results that those values promise. Every value is a promise. Like for example, patience is a value. And what is the promise? Peace of mind, right? If you're patient, you will be peaceful. Um, personal development is a value. And what is the promise? Continuous growth, right? So the reflection the introspection in this video starts by asking, what are your values? As a person, without thinking about the personal brand, just think about you as a person. Every time that I'm working with, a, with an entrepreneur, that I'm helping him or her to find the values of their personal brand or their business, and they are struggling, I always ask them, okay, what are your personal values? Because probably your business will share a good chunk of them. Maybe not all of them, but most of them, of course. Because a business is like a piece of art. And the art always is a representation of your spirit, of what you have inside. You cannot output what you don't input. You cannot create a hardware that is very different from the software that created the hardware. I don't know if that's a good analogy, but um, do you get this? Like the seed will create the fruit. What is inside will create the outside. The gene will create the skin, the body. The mind will create the functionality and the structure of your brain. You see, like always the internal element gets materialized externally is the same with your personal brand so my recommendation to you is to adopt 
some values in your personal brand that are conscious values. And so many people ask me, Derek, do you work with every personal brand? No, I don't. You may have the money to pay for my coaching, but if your personal brand will be destructive for society, is it is not conscious, it is not positive, of course I will not work with you. If you are promoting, for example, hate, evil, suicide, violence, stuff like that, I will not work with your personal brand. Why not? Because your values are not aligned with mine. So whenever I work with a personal brand, I want that brand to have conscious values. It may not be the most spiritual brand. My brand is very spiritual. I know that you can tell probably. If you watch my content and you feel this, my vibe, you know that I'm a very spiritual person, very conscious. At least I try my best to do it, to be it. And I do not expect every brand to have my own values, but at least we need to share a common ground of consciousness, of possibility, positivity for the world, right? That disposition of creating a good change through our business proposal. So finding your values is the first step to creating a successful brand. What your brand will represent because those values will also be the pillars for your content creation. So many clients tell me, Derek, I want to create a personal brand and I want to create content but I don't find ideas. And I say, if you don't find ideas, it's because you don't know your values. If you know your values, you can talk about them forever in different contexts. So if you know that your personal brand will value, for example, to hustle, will value empathy, and will value um, cooperation, you can create 300 videos about that in different contexts, like hustling in the morning, hustling with a team, hustling with your kids, how to teach hustling, what are the pillars for hustling, what are the mechanics of empathy, how to feel empathy, how to develop empathy, how to teach empathy to a, to a child, how empathy can solve your relationship problems, how to develop empathy in a sexual intercourse, intercourse, how to develop international empathy with other cultures, multidisciplinary empathy with uh, different businesses in different areas and different industries. You know, every value has an infinite story. That you can share creatively with your content. And that itself is an invitation for people like yours to join your movement. Understand, a personal brand is a movement. A movement with a cash flow as well. Because it is a business. It is not a personal charity brand, right? It's a personal business. And the last thing that I want to say in this video is that that image that you are projecting into the world must be coherent with those values. Coherence, brand coherence is one of the most important factors for business success. If you are predicating love and you upload a video hitting a dog, that's incoherent, right? If you are predicating fitness and you are obese, that's not coherent. So everything that you preach with your values, everything that you stand for, you must create a congruent image through your content, through your photos, through your videos, 
through your services, through your products, through your design, for that to match almost perfectly. And this is an art, and this is something that you learned how to do. It is not so obvious at first, but with coaching, you can learn it quicker. So if you want Dr. Derek Israel and his team of experts to coach you to develop your successful personal brand because you find value in creating a brand that is your own persona and that can nurture economically the other businesses that you have, fill the form that is in the description below and one member of my team will contact you to make this possible.